Hey guys, it's Lady Locks. So I've got this really cool <clears throat> American 5560 uh, brass body padlock. I thought this was really cool. I've had a bunch of American 1100s before. I've got another, I think it's a 5600 or 5500, sorry. Oh, I've got another one of these, but it's just like a regular American lock. It doesn't have the brass body. This thing's super heavy, um, really cool. Here's the bidding of the key for it. And um, after some messing around with it, I found out that most of these pins are basically no lift. Um, <clears throat> trying to pick it, and I realized that that's what was going on because I don't have to pick any pins but two. <clears throat> uh, if I get the right ones when I'm picking this, I'm not really um, great. And familiar with picking the 1100s, uh, the American locks, 5600, 1100, those ones. I, as you guys probably already know, I don't care for them too much. Uh, they're not my favorite locks, so I don't really pick them a lot. Uh, they always seem to best me in a match. So, <laughs> let's see if I can't get that this one open. The pins are just so little in here, it's a... Uh, there it is. <laughs> the pins are just so little in there that it's kind of hard to navigate around them. So I'm going to try to gut it. I got all my gear out. As you can see, I prepared for victory. So maybe that's why I got it open so easily. I don't know. But um, this will be the first time I've taken it apart. So let's see what we got inside of here. And hopefully I don't uh, screw a bunch of stuff up like this. I think there's some really bunch of Loctite on this screw. So, let's see. I don't want to, uh, I don't want to, um, mess it up at all. I'm going to pound on it a little bit with these pliers, maybe. It'll loosen it up. And let's see. If not, I'm not going to gut it because I don't want to strip this screw. No, I don't think there's any luck on that, guys. All right. <laughs> or let me try a different screwdriver. Maybe that one's just not biting enough. I got this giant one here. Let's see if this one will work. Just don't have enough. There it was. <clears throat> just didn't have enough. Didn't have enough on the screw to uh, get that out of there. Okay. <laughs> there we go. Here, it's coming out now. All right. Okay. And you know what? Every time I put these back together, I can never remember how this thing in here goes. And I'm not sure what it is, but I know it's to stop stop you from being able to use the... Um, I don't even know what it's called. But I know it's just to stop you from being able to get it open so easily with that, that thing. So... That's what that's for. And this is so full of grease, so this is going to be a tough one to um, gut. It's going to be yucky, and we've got a clamp for the American 1100. You guys know how this is. So we might have to, um, we might have to fast forward this part of the video. I don't know yet. I'm trying to check this clamp out. This thing is full of grease. And um, I see a clamp, but I don't see where it starts and ends. Okay, here we go. Here it is. Uh, also, if anybody knows where I could possibly get a brass shackle for this, I would be forever grateful if you told me. Because uh, I think that would be really cool. And I would really love one for this. Oh. Check that out. Lady Locks bossed the clamp. Oh my. <clears throat> that right there is like worth worth it all. Just watching me get that clamp off so nicely. Now I don't know what to do because usually this is like a 20 minute battle with the clamp for me. So yeah. Very strange. Um, I always turn the American 1100 key to the left when I'm gutting them just so that I have this this part here. Um, so that it's not this empty space when I put the shim in. So I have this part here up top 
And that is why I do it like that. Just to be careful of not having any problems with that. So, that part of the lock. All right. Okay, let's see what we got in here, shall we? If they'll come out. All right, it is pin two, one, two, three, four, five. So. Nope. Tweezer, and these tweezers don't work for the 1100 because this little gap on here is too big which I need to get a different set of tweezers for that I don't like these other ones I've got here um, they're not for they're just a pair of tweezers and they suck these ones here I can never get them to work out right for some reason so nothing special here so I don't know if I should think I showed the bidding at the beginning but there it is again for you the bidding of the key uh, like I said, there's only really two pins to pick in this lock, so that's kind of whatever. Um, all right, so now I didn't mark the front, but I do know the front has this little gap here. Let me point that out also right here. So I know this is going to be the front of the lock. Also, I always pay attention to which end of the follower I you know, put in, so I know this is the front. So starting in the back, take the shim out of the way. Starting in the back, serrated um, pin. Can't even tell if I got a hold of it. <laughs> Sorry about that. Hard to see it. Nope, I didn't get it again. I'm gonna turn it over. There it is. Well, there's a spring. Geez, sorry guys. This is a. There we go. <laughs> another serrated and another spring. Okay, another serrated, another spring, I mean these ones actually don't really do anything when picking, as you can see they're just, they're not even coming out of here when the, when I let the follower go, so let me get to the first one here and let it fall out, if I can get it to come out, it seems stuck. There we go. That's a spool. Oh, that's on number one. Okay, and number two is, I don't know what. All right. Oh, it fell over here somewhere. Okay, one of these. Okay, and I'm still Johnny Spring, I suppose. Somewhere in here. Maybe a spring. That's very strange unless somebody saw a spring fly out somewhere. Uh, thankfully, I have extras, but... Ah, here we go. Found it. There we go. All right, so the only pins that were active in this were um, three and four. So, and those two were serrated pins. Uh, so basically just, you know, clicks until you feel that... The setting click <laughs> of it. It wasn't uh, a hard lock to pick at all, but it's beautiful, and I would love to get a brass shackle for that and, um, you know, <clears throat> maybe repin it to a different uh, key so that it's a little bit tougher. Maybe put some stronger springs in. I don't know, but it's a really beautiful lock. Uh, I actually had a fun time trying to figure it out because I didn't really pay attention to the key so I wasn't aware <laughs> that there was only a couple pins to pick until I accidentally only picked those pins. Um, 
because I, I, they all felt like they needed picked, you know, I mean, I could still get nice clicks out of one and two and things like that. But, you know, when I did that, then I couldn't get it open. So, uh, I don't know what made me randomly start and be able to understand that only the third and fourth pin needed picked, but I did get it figured out. It just took me a minute, but it was fun. <clears throat> Beautiful lock. And like I said, if anybody knows uh, where I could find a brass shackle, uh, much appreciated because I would love to put one on here. I uh, think that would be beautiful. All right, guys. Thank you for watching. Uh, if you like my channel, uh, subscribe. If you like this video, click the like button. And uh, feel free to leave a comment. Uh, in the comment section, I do try to answer every single person and talk with everybody. So, All right. Thanks, guys. Take care.